Okay. I will see you later. We'll see how this works. Hi guys, welcome back to the 30 and 30, 30 vlogs in 30 days here in Northeast Wyoming. Ah, brand new, beautiful day. Busy day yesterday. If you missed uh, yesterday's video, make sure you go back and watch it. Four calves, four problems, all happening in one very long day on the ranch. In fact, that's what leads us in to our video for today. That's weird. My door lock just didn't. My door just screwed up on the gator. Like the button got stuck in. Well, that's weird. All right, I'm gonna figure out how to fix that. So guys, uh, this uh, almost leads us perfectly into, I don't know how to fix that, into what uh, we are gonna talk about today here on the ranch. <laughs> this stupid thing. And that is the fact that, ah, look at all this. That is the fact that uh, today's video is actually going to be completely raw and unedited. What is wrong with this door? Let's see if we can get it to pop out with the key. I pushed, I came up, I opened the door, I pushed the button and it's, uh, it's stuck in. Oh, there we go. Got it. Okay. That's fixed. Let's jump in the gator here and I'll tell you the rest of what we're doing here. Today's video is totally uncut, raw, unedited video. And the reason that I'm doing this uh, twofold, uh, yesterday was a very, very long day and Erin said that I had to take it easy today and that includes editing. So she said I couldn't stay up until the middle of the night editing video. The other reason that we're doing this is because this week on the vlog, I'm gonna give, uh, I'm, there's gonna be a couple videos where you're gonna have a chance to actually uh, see more behind the scenes than you probably ever have before. We have a video on the way where we're gonna talk about how we film, we're gonna talk about our equipment, everything that I use to uh, try to put out the best videos that I can for you guys. And I thought I'd lead into that today with this raw video and uh, kind of show you everything that goes into, uh, or well, actually pretty much everything that doesn't go into a video. Because normally at night I would go and download all the footage, go through and edit it all together, cut it down. Yesterday's video, for example, um, when I was done filming, I had almost four hours of video that I had to go through at the end of my day and figure out what I was gonna turn into the video that I put on YouTube. So today I thought it'd be kind of cool to just let the camera roll, good or bad, whatever happens, happens, and you get to actually ride along here for a little bit and, uh, and see what all goes into the video. The other thing is that, it, my arm's getting tired holding this camera. The other good thing is about this is that uh, it's also kind of a prelude into the 24 hour live stream, which happens at the end of our 30 and 30. That'll happen on May 1st, uh, the 24 hour live stream. May, April, May, yeah, first. Uh, so here we go, completely raw, unedited footage of heading out just to check the cows. That's all we're gonna do. We're gonna go check the cows and see how things are going. We got a couple problems we do have to solve while we're out there though. So let's uh, let's get going. Well, the gator started. That's a good start. What is going on now? Come on. Okay. This gear shift, super duper tight. There we go. Ugh. There we go. I did uh, hear from the John Deere guy that this is the first uh, gator to have a park interlock, uh, which scares the hell out of me because that's that's what's gonna break, or I'm gonna break it. Okay, completely raw and unedited, remember that. 
All right, we're heading out to check cows just over the hill here. We still have uh, storms going on, uh, winter flurries, I think is what they call it. Uh, so we are gonna head out here and take a look and see, uh, check all the cows and calves and make sure that everybody's able to get up and let the camera roll the entire time. There's Bambi. No, that's not Bambi. That's number four. <laughs> Don't tell Kenzie that I, I uh, mislabeled Bambi. All right, the calves here, they're up and moving, which is very good. So we have uh, a couple problems we have to take care of while we're out here. Um, we are looking for number, I don't know what number that is, calf number, we're looking for calf number 38. Um, and the reason behind that, or the reason why we're looking for calf number 38 is that uh, we screwed up and wrote down the wrong mom when that calf was born. There was another mom standing next to it, or near it. So we got the wrong mom written down. That mom already had a calf. So, oh, there's number 20 hiding out down there too. Um, I don't think this is it, but uh, we wrote down number 28 as the mom and wrong mom. All right, we'll leave them alone for right now. Okay. Doo, 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 doo. There's another calf. Calf is up, which is good. Number 61. Oh, it's 30, and your mom is with you. Look at that. Number 30 and number 61, and mom is with you. Thank gosh. I was actually really kind of worried about that calf last night while I was out checking. I thought for sure I was going to be bringing that calf back in. All right. I do know um, we've had one calf born so far this morning, um, and that's number 94's calf. We'll check on that one also and make sure it's okay. She was really cranky with me. She was actually born. I was on the phone uh, with a friend of mine while she was being born or while the calf was being born and, and uh, she was not happy with me at all being around. All right, so number 38. So here's the calf. Oh, well, that was easy. So if you look at my, my sheet here, um, we had 28 white, 38 green and little question marks. I added on there. I said might be number 133s and there's I don't know if you can see her number at all, but 133. So now we know that 38 green right there belongs to 133. Ding, ding, ding. Mystery solved. I guess one thing I didn't think about um, with uh, doing a, an unedited raw video like this is the fact that I move the camera around quite often. And when I'm editing, I'm able to edit those things together uh, rather seamlessly, but um, I hope I don't, I'm not making anybody seasick either. All right, there's Cranky Mom. You can see her, she doesn't like me at all, but she did have her calf, her calf is there tagged up. Um, and okay, she really dislikes me. She tried to like come in the window of the gator to get me, number 94. Hopefully, taking care of her calf. Hey, cranky mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep being cranky. Remember her, number 77? She was a cranky mom too. Let's see how cranky she is with me now that her calf is a little bit older. I don't have any cake in here for her or else I'd give her some. Hey, baby. How you doing? Are you mad at me still? No. Whoa, a little jumpy though, huh? <laughs> That's her calf right back there. Number 27, this is the one that we stole her calf yesterday. I don't have it. Hey, I don't have any cake either. But you're my friend now again, too? <laughs> That's the one that uh, ended up in the bathtub, her calf right over here from yesterday. Yep. There you are. Look at you. So now, uh, as of this moment, unless we find a calf somewhere around here, uh, we are coming up on tag number 40, so there's 39, 39 calves on the ground out here right now. And on a, it's been an hour, well, it's been a couple hours since I checked. I actually had to run to town this morning. Hey, kids. That's a good windbreak, Mom. You are a good windbreak. Lucky number 11 here. One of my best friends in high school, his basketball number was 11, I think, if I remember right. 
high school was a long time ago. One of the interesting things about uh, filming, for me anyway, is the fact that, especially filming the vlog, like I have to film everything. Um, so what I tend, I never know what the story is gonna be about. I never know what the final video is gonna be about. So I really have to kind of go down some weird tangents. Like uh, yesterday's video, I didn't know we were gonna have problems with every single calf that was born. So uh, I had a little side story going on that never made it into the video, but that was the fact that Grace and Lincoln were both homesick from school. So, uh, and I'm coming down with a cold also. So there was kind of a little side story there about uh, being sick and, and, uh, and having to power through. Um, calving season but that all got dropped because we ended up having all the trouble with calves that you guys saw coming by the barn here really muddy right outside the barn I don't have a gutter on the barn I should someday put a gutter on there because it gets really muddy here in the front and the bad part is about the barn I don't know what the heck's going on in there half the time because you can't you can't see past the, you know, 30 or 40 calves that are in there unless you pull into the barn and try to figure it out like we're going to do right now and hopefully not get stuck in this muck. Hi guys, can I come into your barn and hang out? There's a calf and a mom. Tag though. For some reason, there's a chicken over here. I don't know if you can see that. Silly chicken. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, muddy, muddy, muddy. All right. So we've got another couple inches of snow on the way, it kind of sounds like, but tomorrow things will get straightened out and I think tomorrow we'll actually let all these cows and everybody out um, of these two pastures, these two small pastures that we're calving in right now, uh, we'll let them go out and adventure. So I'm sure tomorrow's video, <laughs> um, if, if, if the, the past holds true, uh, tomorrow's video is going to be all about getting moms and calves back together because I'm gonna let them out of this little 20 acre area that they're in now and they're gonna cows are gonna take off calves are gonna get left behind moms are gonna lose their calves calves are gonna lose their moms it's gonna be horrible it's gonna be just a giant train wreck um, and we're just gonna have to deal with it and be the the babysitters behind it so it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting I'm pretty sure that's what the video will be about A few more calves out here worth checking. Make sure everybody's okay. Little cold calves. Cold little calves, yeah. Look at, oh, wait a minute, do you have a tag? Or are you a new calf? Oh, you have a tag. Sorry, Mom, I mean to get you up. I don't see any new cows, but we will do a little fence line driving and taking a look. What are you doing over here, Mom? You got a baby over here? You got a baby stash back here. Look at you. Good mom stashing your baby. It is nice to see when the cows will use uh, whatever they can find for a windbreak instead of just putting their calves out in the middle of the field. And sometimes they use themselves as a windbreak, so. Those are good moms too. All right, every calf out here so far that we've found is doing just great. Up and moving, we located 38 and her mom and got them figured out. I think this cow might be thinking about doing something. She's uh, acting a little goofy, but, oh, see, she's holding her tail, see that? She might be getting ready to have a calf, or she might have already had a calf. Actually, you don't, I should probably look at that. 
she's acting all twitchy and weird. Now where's she going? Let me uh, take a quick look online here. Oh, was she 45? I think she was number 45. That might be her calf over there, but we'll find out. 45, punch it up. I don't know what they're doing over there. Nope, she has not had a calf yet. She is expected to have her calf here in the first cycle. So, 45 might have a calf on the way. In fact, if you um, if you follow us on Facebook, I'll be sure to uh, post a picture if she does have a calf. She's a good looking cow too. Um, when she does have her calf, we'll put a picture of that calf up on up on Facebook just to let you know that if we were right or wrong on that one. All right, last things last. Uh, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna, last things is last. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna drive around uh, the field here really quick just to make sure that nobody's stashed or or hidden or fence lines are broken or anything like that. Um, not that I want to get out and fix fence in this crap, but. I'd much rather just hang out in a nice gator, drive around in circles. check in this corner really quick because uh, we have been uh, we've been known to, to stash calves up in this corner and then we'll uh, that's the end of checking cows at least for now we'll be back out in a couple hours check them all over again and then number 45 down there might be uh, might be having a calf be sure to check on Facebook at our, our Wyoming life to to see oh I just dropped my pen on the floor oh that's gonna be gross there's all kinds of nasty things on the floor of this gator already. We've had calves on here, down here, and we've had, oh, yuck. Yeah, that's gross. Well, no calf up here. Nothing. But, yeah, 45. That one's gonna have a calf, I can almost guarantee it. We are, uh, what kind of time are we looking at? Just over 18 minutes, raw, unedited, footage from right here on the ranch kind of like a live stream but without any interaction from anybody else and awkward silence from me guys thank you very much for coming along with us today thank you for giving me uh, an excuse to uh, to have a raw unedited video that will only take a few minutes to put together and I can get it online and I can actually get to bed at a decent time it's gonna be awesome thanks guys we're gonna continue on with the 30 and 30 tomorrow uh, we've got, uh, like I said, we're going to be letting cows out, so we're going to be uh, matching moms and their babies up like crazy. It's going to be a lot of fun. Stick around. Make sure you subscribe. Follow along as we continue to explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. Thanks. Have a great night. We'll see you next time on our Wyoming Life.